Hi everyone, welcome back to Small Engineer Petrial. Today we have this two garden line hedge trimmer. Today we're going to fix this red garden line with broken fuel line or possibly faulty carburetor I'm going to replace if required. And let's get started. This red unit has a broken fuel line, so we're going to replace that. So the red garden line hedge trimmer is a 22cc built on 2011 engine 1E32F with model number 35 OBG-35011 with 106 dBA uh, noise level. Okay, so we're going to replace the fuel line. So take the air filter base cover. So the only fuel line here missing is the return line and the intake fuel line which is connected to the fuel filter is still intact I believe. So just to make sure we just double check we just pull that other fuel line which is connected to the filter to make sure that the filter is still connected. So yes so the filter is still connected. Well, it's best to change the, the whole uh, fuel line system, the fuel line kit, we supply, we supply them. Uh, if, because uh, this, this case, for this unit, the problem is the only one fuel line, which is the return. So, it would be different, the unit, yours would be totally perish on both lines. So, you might need to replace also the grommet, the fuel lines, the filter. So it's best to, to replace the complete set. So when you replace this with a complete set, you just remove this uh, grommet here. Just for this uh, purpose, I just want to remove the grommet. And with a filter, and also. So normally, so the complete fuel line system, it comes with uh, a set of two lines and grommet it would be different types of grommet but definitely will fit so the fuel line from the, the front should be able to reach just right on the bottom side of the fuel tank so I'm going to cut this one to have a new fitting because this is already uh, removed and it get damaged when I take it off so I'm going to cut the line there so it's on the front this is enough rest on the bottom of the fuel tank so to install a new fuel line you just insert the, the line into the tank and with the return line as well and keep track on which which line it's the intake which line is the return line so we'll connect the intake fuel line first install the grommet Then the return line. And that's all good. So we'll fill up the petrol and then we'll try this engine. Put on a choke and on position. Definitely won't start. So we're going to troubleshoot and we'll fix this engine. The problem could be the carburetor or the spark. The compression is still very good. So we'll start with checking the spark first. The first thing we're going to do is to check for spark. We need to take the spark plug. Insert the spark plug into the spark plug boot. Then we need to ground the spark plug into the body of the, the engine. 
so you get access to the chassis of the engine then I can stick this power plug in between here okay so there's a spark okay the second part is we need to check for compression so the compression must be above 90 to 150 psi so let's check for compression so it's about over 100 psi so which is really good now the problem is the carburetor so we have to either replace or rebuild the carburetor now we already confirmed that uh, there's a spark and there's a good compression and uh, likely the problem would be the carburetor but how do we confirm that the problem is the carburetor so the final check to confirm if the problem is the carburetor is to apply a carbon cleaner through the carburetor through the venturi so just squeeze the throttle and to open the venturi and with the carbon cleaner straight into the venturi then turn it on and start the engine so it starts so that's it the problem is the carburetor so we're going to replace or rebuild the carburetor now to replace the carburetor we just need to remove this two mounting screw we turn fuel line and also the intake fuel line so when it's really difficult to remove that fuel line because we have enough fuel line inside so we just cut about one centimeter just not to worry about cutting this one and then just uh, remove the excess fuel line makes the life easier so here is you need to remove the throttle since there's not much clearance between this part here so we can't move the, the throttle really far so the only option is to undo this uh, screw here now we can move the throttle and take the cable out so this cable here is part of the this assembly so we need to fully remove the whole lot the whole thing so here we have a, a new carburetor so this is a compatible carburetor the same carburetor um, the only difference is uh, this one is shorter so we can take this one out and also the new carburetor the good thing with the new carburetor has a high adjustment so you can adjust the high this one is fixed so to install a new carburetor because we can't take this one out because it's crimp or part of the throttle this this part here so we have to remove the this one so we can easily remove this one and then we install the one from the previous carburetor so before we fully insert the one we need to install the, the cable just insert the cable here so now we can see that the we can't screw this one fully because of the this part here which uh, stops the screw the head so we'll take this one out again so if you are 100 percent sure that the problem is the carburetor so you can um, modify this one by cutting this part here so remember that um, altering the carburetor tampering the carburetor will void the warranty so if you're 100 percent 
you can cut this part here and then use the carburetor now I can screw it back okay so you squeeze the throttle until the where it stops so we can use the old old gasket I think it's much easier to install the fuel line first before mounting the carburetor and also the return line okay now we can mount the carburetor Just place the gasket at the back. So back down, I'll adjust this one. If you know how to adjust it, the tune the carburetor, see my other video on the grain garden line hedge trimmer. Thanks for watching our video tutorial for today. We learned how to troubleshoot and fault find the carburetor problem and changing the carburetor. So it's a good thing. So anyway, thanks a lot and thanks for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe like and share the channel and i will see you next time bye for now